In this video, we're going to be doing Hugo's quest or quests because there's multiple of them and they span throughout a lot of the Buck Batal area of the game. As such, the very start of this quest actually starts at the checkpoint rest town just after you go through the gate into Buck Batal or Batal actually I should say. So right over here at this location you'll see there's an NPC at the like stable on the left as you're walking down here. When you speak to him for the very first time he's going to tell you about the coral snake bandits who are like you know causing havoc and you're allowed to pledge your assistance to this guy so that you can help and this will start the mercy among thieves quest. Now the next part you can actually speak to the kid who's further down at the tent over here. This doesn't actually require you to speak to him but it is a part where you can feed him two times so you can get food twice from the inn that is nearby if you don't have any food on you. Also make sure the food is ripe and you'll see that Hugo will pop up trying to you know stop you from harassing this kid not realizing that you're actually helping. Anyway progress down the main road south into Batal and you will see there's an area over here you'll see some NPCs who will stop and talk to you and give you the yellow circle but if not you will come across this location as you make your way here and you'll see bandits have raided a caravan and as you get close they're going to run off and you're going to see there's a kid who's injured and then Hugo will rock up and try to help the kid and then there's going to be guards who call him out and like you know obviously want to chase him down and at this point you are going to chase Hugo down as well along with the guards so go ahead and follow him where he's going it should be marked on your map amongst the mercy among thieves quest and just follow this it's going to be like a, a, a kind of like a cat and mouse little thing where you chase him through a whole bunch of different cave systems and have to fight a bunch of enemies so just go ahead and do all of that. Eventually you will have to follow down the end pathway and you'll see there'll be a cutscene where he's trying to escape and his leader is going to, well, um, sacrifice him. So he's going to get caught by us. We're going to essentially arrest him. While his leader escapes, who we will catch another day for a follow-up quest, right? So right here, the quest will end for this main mercy among thieves and Hugo will be arrested, taken into the Bakbatal jail. From this you'll also get a decent reward, some gold and XP, and if you go ahead and you open up the chests that are around, this first one over here in this blue tent right at the end there, by like near the ladder where Hugo fell, will give you really really good thief daggers, so I recommend you know using this if you're a thief. Now before you do anything else you will need to do a quest called Told to Rest and you're going to find that just north of the road of Checkpoint Rest Town. Make your way to the map over here to the split off of the road and you're going to approach the ancient battlegrounds from the east right here and you'll meet an NPC along the road as you get there and he's going to tell you and give you a quest to go to that location. So just progress along the road until you see him. He will run up to you and he will, you know, speak to you. This is Oscar. He's going to give you the told to rest quest where he tells you to make your way to that castle up there. So quite simply, make your way up here. You're going to progress through into the other chambers. You're going to take the tower and then you're going to run across, take the other tower. So up here, you're going to take the ladder you're going to climb across like this. And then you're going to run across and then you're going to go down the hole on the opposite side to get into the other side. There are enemies and skeletons and all sorts of like enemies you will have to defeat as you go through here. So go down here and then you're going to go through the open passageway. I'm going to kind of like skip this little part here. So follow along with me here where you go up the stairs. You will see there is a door on the left. We're actually going to be opening this with a special key that we're going to get for completing this quest. So remember where this door is even though you can't really get lost. We're going up the stairs and we're taking the first room on the right. Now Oscar is going to be following you this entire time and he's going to run up to the area where you can ring the bell. Now he needs the book that's usually here called the Nation's Death Knell, right? So if you've already used that on the Mage or the Sorcerer Ultimate Skill video or that, that place where you have to get this grimoire for that, there is another one that you can get in the game, okay? So you can get the other one by going north of the Border Watch Outpost at the top of the map, follow the road all the way north to where you started the game. You'll see there is now a cave that leads into a waterfall. Just progress this cave until you eventually come across a big open chamber where there's a chest in the middle. As you open this chest, you will get two grimoires and you'll also start a boss fight, right? So in this cave, you're looking for the area on your map that's going to be located as 2F. So it has to be called 2F. That's when you know you're in the right area, as you can see where I was on the map. And opening this chest, you will get the nation's death knell if you already, you know, use the other one and it doesn't exist. So go ahead and give him the book, just like this. Make sure you have it on your inventory. Give him the nation's death knell, either the one that's there or the one that you collected at the north of the map. And now he's going to basically, you know, ring the bell and end the quest as well as giving you the ancient battleground key, some gold experience. And that's how the told to rest quest ends. And you can go ahead and go to that, that door that was outside to the left. 
Go ahead and open it up with that ancient battleground key. Now in this room, there's two chests. The first one is going to give you a fairy stone and some gold. And then the second one is going to give you a mystic spear hand weapon called the Infernal Edge, which actually sets enemies on fire. Pretty cool weapon. Now make your way back to Buck Patel and you will see there is Benjamin, the guard who's basically where the ox cart area is of Buck Patel. And if you speak to him, he'll say there is a new coral snake member who's in prison, blah, 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 blah. Once you have this, you know it's the right thing. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to follow me to the jail over here. So the jail is located right here. So follow that road to this point. And here you'll meet an NPC who will give you a new quest where you need to offer Hugo guidance. So follow him down here. He's going to lead you to Hugo. He is the first jail cell in front right here, but he's not facing you. He's not talking to you. To get him to talk to you, you need to speak to the other NPC who is going to be on the left here, right? So as you progress, not this first cell on the left, it will be the second one on the left and you'll find Breft. Now, I believe he only appears in this jail after you've done that told to rest quest in the ancient battleground. And if you speak to him a couple times, he's going to tell you about how Lanzo killed uh, Hugo's parents and a bunch of other parents and whatnot. And you have to keep speaking to him until you get this information. And once you have this information, you're going to return to Hugo and tell him. But before you tell him, if you want to end the quest in a good way and you want to give Hugo a job in the future, you have to finish one of these two quest lines. So either the Wilhelmina romance quest line where you basically end up romancing her at the end and you open up a position at the at the you know the bordelry so that he can work there or you have to do Isaac's quest but you need to give him the correct grimoire that makes him kill his wife and daughter so that there's a position available in the shop and Hugo can basically get that job so there's these two options the links are in the descriptions for those videos if you want to do those then you can come back to Buck Batal and speak with Hugo and you can tell him the information that the coral snake dude the breft guy told you so that Hugo can understand what's happened and he's been betrayed and everything so that he basically gets all like you know angry and vengeance ridden at this point, you're going to skip one day. So you're going to go ahead and rest at an inn or skip time until it's a new day. And when you return to the jail, you'll see that Hugo is no longer in his cell. And you see this guard over here. When you walk near him, he'll tell you that he's escaped. And he's also killed the other dude who told you that information about... Uh, Hugo's parents. So now Hugo is going to go on a death mission. So you need to go ahead and get to this location before him. So from Checkpoint Rest Town, we're going to actually make our way all the way to the ancient battleground. So you can take this pathway up here, just follow the road. You were literally here previously with the told to rest quest. So make your way all the way up here to where you find an ogre at the top. Now, if you don't do this quick enough, you'll actually find out that Hugo will come here and he'll end up fighting and he'll end up dying, I think, as well. And that's like the bad ending of the quest. But if you do it in time and you come here immediately after, you should be able to find Lanzo who is standing here and you're going to basically fight him before Hugo arrives. So go ahead and fight him and defeat him in battle. So just kick his ass and then you'll see Hugo will basically rock up right after this. And also like the other Coral Snakes members just disappeared into thin air, which was great. Hugo will basically tell you that he's here to kill everybody, but everybody's dead. And he's going to ask you what to do. You're going to tell him to live an honest life. And then he's going to ask you like, do I really think he has a chance? And you say, I do think he has a chance to keep living. And then you're basically going to tell him of things like job opportunities that he can have, right? So you can say, I know of a place that might work. And if you did those two quest lines, you will have the Myrmacolian or Isaac's Wares as two options to pick from so that he can work at one of these locations. After you pick an option, you will see the quest will end. You will get some rewards. You get the Frosted Edges daggers again for some reason. I don't know why. And that is the end of the Off the Pilthard Path quest line. And now you can actually go to the location where you gave him a job. In for my case, I gave him a job at the Bordelry. And now he's here accepting um, customers into, you know, the, the Bordelry. I just hope he's not engaging in activities as well because, man, I just signed him up for something. Anyway, that's how you can complete his whole quest line. And thank you so much for watching this video.